Here's how you find and share calls. It's better than anything you've experienced in the past. From the Interactions tab, I've selected Interaction Search and landed on our main Interaction Search page. As you can see, it's broken out into two main areas. This top section here, comprised of our search results as we see at the main area of the page, as well as some actionable function buttons up in the upper left hand corner. We've got a search option where we can create and modify custom searches. We've got some actionable items where we can perform different functions like flagging an interaction, commenting, even starting or scheduling evaluations from this window. We can copy something to what we call the vClip, which is like your virtual clipboard, which I'll show you how to do later. In my search results section, I can see the results are broken down and the following information is contained. We have start time, duration, name of the agent or representative who took the call, how it was originated, what type of recording, if there's audio, video, and also here we can determine if there's any other, other interactions as well as any fact finder events that might be present. The default search results that we see here are automatically returned based on the parameters that we set up to customize and get our own feel for the interface. My results come back based on the parameters for everything recorded on October 20th between a certain time and date and that also had a certain set of flags. My search contains calls that have just flags on them. We can see the flags are located here on the left hand side. This one is flagged green where these red, red, red. I've selected one of these interactions and it's loaded up into our media player down at the bottom, which is comprised of a second half of our screen. In the media player, we can see that the call has loaded, and we've also got a full video capture of everything that happened on the agent's desktop. For the agent, Greg Cummings, I can choose to listen to this audio from the beginning by simply hitting the play button, fast forwarding, and also seeking to different points by dragging the cursor. If I wanted to loop back a portion of audio, I would simply drag these gray boxes on either side to different points in the audio to loop a certain portion. This allows me to valuably see and hear exactly what's going on a particular portion in the audio file so I can then determine what's happened at that point. If I did discover something happened at a certain point in audio I could even comment on that record. This is when the customer said they wanted to buy the new car. Just as an example, hitting OK will append that comment to the record. From here I can also take a deeper view into what's been happening on the agent's screen over here on the right hand side as you can see, but I can open this out into a new window and expand it and see the view larger, making this very effective when trying to do any kind of quality monitoring or analysis. When I play this, I can actually see what's happening on the screen at any given time. I also have the ability to drill down into it and focus on different points. Here I can look at exactly what's been occurring on the screen. I'm going to minimize this window and return us back. As you can see, our search results return. We've got a media player easily accessible with a number of high value functions as well as a full video screen and we can dig in and drill deeper into that screen. I can adjust my results using hyper filters, further providing value to what I have chosen to return in my search results section. 